Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar mounted a modest recovery on Wednesday after the Bank of England announced plans to buy government bonds to calm markets that have been pretty much whipsawed due to the country's recent tax cuts. Having witnessed a strong down challenge, the bears weighed in on the market and eventually found a low around 63.65 and from there has posted an engulfing candle or an outside range day. However, before we can get too excited about the bullish candle, we still need confirmation. That is a break above 65.65 and from a New York close would give further scope to the upside to around 66.60.85 and along with that, negate the downside target of 62.45.60. However, with the current pattern breaking down in the intraday Australia, Australasia time, is that we can see here that at present we could see the reversal of the overnight gains due to the technical aspect isn't as strong with the ADX still supporting a bearish case. The US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, briefly printed a fresh 20-year high of 114.71, plummeted down to 112.60, and now trading around 113.80. This has put very much a bit of a mixed step when it comes to the euro after staging an impressive bullish outside or engulfing candle. However, again, confirmation is required, and that is a break of 97.65. If seen, that would give further upside potential to 99.45. But like the Australian dollar, we're still lacking confirmation, lacking of technicals, could still see a further reversal from the gains and pair back to the recent target of around 94, 50, 70 and reassess from there. Looking at the dollar yen case, the market is still tiptoeing towards that level of 145, even though there is some risk that the Bank of Japan could intervene like previously seen. Still, the technicals are still hanging in there to a weak bullish outlook. However, we could still see the market eventually fail to that top side and turn back to 143.70 to 142.60.70. The pound, while well, the market was pretty much mixed overnight after the previous uh, two candles, was somewhat an inverted hammer and an engulfing candle that should increase further upside potential. But that being said, we can see that the market is still lacking momentum and confirmation. We do need to see a break above. 109 40 45 to give the bulls the call to rally on to 112 as a potential target but as you can see the technicals like the euro and the australian dollar lacking momentum and adx for the sterling supporting the bear case but overheating could see those gains return and eventually see a slip back towards somewhere around 106 as a target after rallying from 1,613 to 1,660 area, gold is having a bit of a trouble, bit of a trouble at present, and holding those gains. And from that, could see another downturn until we get the confirmation of the outside range day. That is a break above 1,664. Then we could see another down test and see the view back to 1,580.88, which was the initial call. Wrapping up with oil, but the market also lacks momentum due to the resistance holding at 81.45.70. Although we did see a brief stab at 93 this morning, the market is backing away slightly. Until we get a close of New York above that level, then we can still get a pullback to the lows seen somewhere around 77 and reassess. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday port. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.